So, what's up, guys? And today, to talk the first question is how can I check the legitimacy of the software? So, the in this tutorial, I will use the MD5, which is the software that is commonly used. So, I will provide it the you know website in this video, and you can see it here. So, first, download it, and so I'm going to test it with the cheap G4 USB. First, we have to browse the you know folder of that so yes i browse it so let me uncheck all those hash functions since it is not the you know gpg4 hash function so i only check the sha one so yes i have to go through the official official website in order to get the real one i mean the hash function one so place in the here and click the so the software is at the hash mark so we can well, they, that the software is genuine, it's correct. So that, that's, let's move on to another tutorial, which I will emphasize on the encryption and decryption technique using the GPG-4 USB software. So let's get started with GPG-4. So in order to get this, you can go to the website GPG-4 USB uh, to download it. And, you know, just proceed with the download tutorial that you know which was given from the web just click download and get it so uh, i already get it and i already created a new public key so if you want to create a new public key you can you know just go to this section you know like file or key create generate key and just go through it so yes it's that simple so uh, i already have the public key which i name it my name myself but I, and I already sent it to my friend so Patsy never chat so I sent my public key so I sent him a public key and he you know he encrypted it and he sent me the uh, you know the image so let me you know copy it and just decrypt it I click decrypt it on this section so I enter it so why do I have to input or why do I have to put my password just because that my public key that I was set when I install I set it password to my public key so then I just type it so my initial password is one two three so I just put one two three and the plan tag is hello there so let verify him uh, let verify it my with my friend so I go to this and he is the file he generated using my public key and you can see it you know Patra there so yes hello there it's verified so uh it's so uh first thing first in order to get into the email spoofing part we have to use the uh, website called prevo.com so you know just type in that website and just create account it you know the sign up is free you can use the free plan so I already created so it is you know simple and feasible to you know achieve the email spoofing in order to promote your company in order to promote your store in order to promote your e-commerce for example. So I already created so once we create it we get into the you know the top uh, right hand and go to the SMTH and API just you know copy the smth setting so when we copy it we have to you know open it and copy all those settings so i already uh, copy it in my telegram so, uh, i already copy it and here's the sample command that we have to have it in the uh, vmware Linux operating system. So first thing first, we have to change it to the travel email. So let me open it and show you the real demo of it. So in order to uh, in order to make it understandable, so we have to change the login to this. Yes, and the master password in here. I already copy it, and this is the website. The login. SMTA server and the port and also the F stand for the forward I mean the from the sender and to to you 
know what email you want to get into so here's my lecture email I type it in here and this is the you you represent for the subject so the subject that I import is check out my new project from Ritsinavtra which is my name so the um um is stand for message so I just simply type the simple basic message hi there you can check my own my new project so yes that's simple so i already did it here and it is it said that the email was sent successfully so uh, let me create and clear it and type it again so i sent it two times to my lecture email so you don't have to worry about the free plan you say in the the server the bravo.com give us a 300 emails blueprint so let me uh add it here and so it said yes it's there yeah, go sent successfully so uh it is it said that email was sent successfully so uh yes uh let me send it to my email again I want to verify it to make it sure so I change the email address to my email itself my order email so let's see the real example of it let me copy it and paste it here open the terminal so in order to paste it in the Kali Linux operating system we have to click on Control shift free so yes I click enter and let's get into my gmail it said successfully and so let's open it let me refresh it a bit I don't know what email or tagline it is but uh, here 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 it's going to the promotion card since most of the time that we use email spoofing just to you know promote our website so here it is from me let's you know I you know I can change this to whatever I want so let's uh, check out my new project so it is simple and thank you guys for watching my video and I hope you guys 